Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Peter Johnson, realagriculture.com, at Wheat Pete, with the last in our mini series on dryers and drying setups. And the one thing, here with me again is Helmut Spicer, our drying guru. The one thing that really drives me nuts as I drive around the country is vents on the top of Ben Roos. And you'd think, well, gosh, doesn't everybody know how to, how to place vents properly? But, but Helmut, when you drive around the countryside, are vents always on the Ben Roos appropriately? Where should they be placed? There, uh, you're absolutely right, Peter. There's a, a, a good placement for vents, and then there's a not so good placement for vents, and you can see all of them as you drive around the countryside. You can see on that bin there, there uh, there's vents on it, and uh, since it's a small bin, uh, less, let's say less than 42 foot in diameter, uh, those vents should be placed as high up the roof as possible. So one ring of vents going to do the job. As we get into larger bins, which is what we're seeing uh, in the new bins going up, they're uh, 48 feet or possibly larger in diameter. Uh, you may need multiple rings of vents going on the roof. Uh, the first place to, uh, the first set of vents that you should consider is the uh, ones on the lower part of the roof, and they should be not closer than six feet to the eave. In other words, greater than six feet off the eave. The second ring of vents, put them up as tight to the top of the bin as possible. If you still need extra vents, split them in between the top and the bottom row. Okay, so, so why is that important? Like I see sometimes I drive around the countryside and I see the vent, it's actually over the eave of the bin and there's only one, one ring of vents, it's a small bin. What, what, what's the problem? Uh, it, manufacturers for whatever reason decide that that's the way, place they want to punch the opening for the vent. If the vent is peeking over the edge, or in other words, you can stand on the side of the bin, look up and look into the vent, that is the absolute worst place. They are great snow scoops. They also will only take air from the perimeter of the bin. You've got air when you're aerating coming up through the whole grain mass. So move those vents in, get them away from the eave. you are already got some crackage in that around the eave so that air can come and go there but you need to vent the, the majority of the uh, air coming off the top of the bin. And then in the center peak or the attic part of the bin, if you don't have venting up near the peak, it's just gonna hang up there, condense, and then end up raining back down into the grain. So really, that's the big problem, right? That's why we need the vents up higher because in the bin, when we have that peak, if we don't have them close to the peak, we get dead air up in that in that peak. And hot, that's dead air. Hot, dead air that causes condensation. Hot, moist, dead air. Hot, moist, dead air that causes condensation on the grain. And that's where we get spoilage. And actually, in some of the studies that have been done, even the downspout in that scenario can act like a chimney. And when the, the hot, dead, warm air goes up that chimney it condenses in the in the downspout and then that downspout rains down and all of a sudden we get spoilage in there and that's where we get a lot of those those worrisome things we can get ochre toxin a there and all those other things right. so so a few guys quickly say power vents solve the problem Do, is that real or is that not real if the vents are properly placed on the bin roof uh you shouldn't need power vents so bottom usually in some cases, power vents have been used to try and fix a bad uh, vent location yep. situation. But at the end of the day, if we place our vents as high as we can, we solve the problem. And that's one of those things as you drive around the country, as you build a new bin, for goodness sakes, push the manufacturer, get those vents high on the bin. With that, We've hopefully covered all of the drying things that you wanted to know and do a good job. It takes a lot of effort to get it into the bin. You want good quality grain coming out. Peter Johnson, realagriculture.com. Thank you, Helmet. Thank you.